All right. So what's up, everybody? Uh, let's start this thing. Uh, thank you for coming to Elephant Money's Twitter Spaces. Uh, we try to do this each week and give some of the community out there some information, education, and just teach some people that aren't in Elephant Money what we are and who we are and uh, how we've come along and what we have planned for the future. So most of you that are here are already in Elephant Money, but if there's anyone that you're trying to get in, I always encourage you to play back this recording. Each week we we keep the recording on X here, so you're always able to go through and listen to them all. You know, sometimes we are talking about the same thing each week, but if you want to just pick one out and just bring it to somebody for the each one teach one thing, that's always a, a good thing to have. Um, I am staring to see if BT has joined yet. I hope he is. Um I know Blackberry guy, if you are able to, or somebody jump on him on Telegram, let him know to join the second one. He was on the first one. I know he's going to go over a couple, not a lot, but just a few numbers um, for the whole year, a little recap of what happened. So if somebody wants to hit him up on Telegram, uh, maybe he can click on the new link on Twitter. Um, been a long year, a very long year for Elephant Money. And I know the year seemed like it went by quick for me, but as far as Elephant Money itself, uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on, plenty of ups, couple downs, plenty more ups. And 2024, I believe, is going to have a bit more ups than we had downs. And as you can see, what BT has done over the whole year uh, to help make this ecosystem not just grow, but sustainable for long-term future, done a great job. I know this past month he's been working his butt off with the holidays and a couple updates and upgrades. Uh, it's been a lot of work for him and he's had a lot to do. So anything that's not done yet, I'm sure he will let us know as soon as it is done, what's planned for the new year. So obviously we're going to try to have our very first elephant money event. Seems like everybody wants to go to Nashville. I don't know if VT has another place in mind. He was talking Vegas. He was talking Miami. So maybe he has made a decision on that, but I have not heard yet. Uh, there is Blackberry guy. Um, Crypto Flyer, I see you are online, all things ETH. If you guys want to jump in right away, I mean, well, let's just get this going. We're already uh, 10 minutes after 11. We don't know what uh, Twitter space is going to do to us today. So um, stick around for those free NFT we are going to give away to finish out the year. Hey, with BNB going up, you know you want that NFT. And um, I just checked with BT this morning. So if you haven't received your NFT yet from our past winners, hang tight. Uh, he did uh, message me back, and I gave him make sure he had the correct addresses and all that kind of stuff. So he he's on it. He's just been busy doing a lot of other stuff, and I know you guys want that NFT. As soon as we can get it to you, you know what we will we will. Um, so anyway, uh, Crypto Flyer, what's up, brother? How are you doing? Hey Ed, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good here, man. Doing awesome. Good Christmas. I hope on your end, and we had a good Christmas. I actually. Um, down in Missouri at my folks' place, and we had a great time with them. Huge get together with all extended family, and we had some over. Oh, I was thirty plus people on Christmas Day there, so it was it was good time. Just about ready to head out and fly back home to Minnesota. And um, anyway, so just wanted to wish you all a happy New Year coming up, and thanks for all your hard work and effort that you put in there, and. A uh, big shout out to BT there for spending his holiday working for us. And um, just wanted to let him know that we all really appreciate that. And um, as we we're all enjoying our family, he was hard at work coding and getting things working for us. So um, just wanted to let him know that we really appreciate it and all the hard work and excited for the new year and what Elephant has in store for us. Man, very good kind words there from you and thank you very much for those words uh i'm hoping bt jumps on a little bit and is able to say thank you to you guys for being one of the best communities in crypto did you have a white christmas where you were or no uh no i actually down in missouri here no it wasn't and actually back home i guess they did have a little little bit of snow but um a little bit of ice and whatnot too so kind of abnormal for minnesota not to be white on christmas but um <laughs> but yeah all right, man. Well, I appreciate you chiming in. Uh, it was awesome meeting you this year. Hope to see you again in 2024. And I hope you have a great new year. And I hope you had a great holiday last week. And it's nice that you were able to jump on our spaces here between doing whatever you do all day long, flying that jet around everywhere. 
Very good. Well, same to you there, and um, Happy New Year, and I'll let somebody else jump in here. Thanks. You um, Ed, welcome. before before I before I run, man, I just wanted to also say just a big shout out to all you admins that keep this space um, on on Telegram and whatnot um, good and clean and um, on focus and whatnot. You guys do a lot of hard work that also goes a little bit unnoticed by the rest of us sometimes. But appreciate all your hard work and um, look forward to what the future has for us. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. I know all the other admin appreciate that as well. It's Sometimes it's a little harder than usual, and sometimes we even get, you know, a little grumpy ourselves and and stuff, and we, we try to give a little leeway in the chat, but uh, we, we try not to let it get too out of control because that opens us up cans of worms. So if you, you give people an inch, they take a foot kind of thing. So that's why we, we try to keep it um, as best we can about elephant and some education and some marketing and, and promoting and also, you know, community and being being almost like a family as far as your posts go, too. So. It's a great uh, chat room to have, and it's it's been a lot better than the old days. So I'm actually glad we have some, you know, mature people in our in our chat, and the admin are able to keep it that way, and uh, the rest of the community helps keep it that way as well. So yeah, I, I can't say enough about our um, our community, man, the X Factor and everything going on. So yeah, thank you to everyone for everything you've done all year long, for, uh, from reporting things to keeping things clean and just um your ideas and all that kind of stuff not just on telegram but all the people that are on discord i mean they work hard pretty too uh, pretty much too and we have a lot of different channels on there we have a couple of different languages on there and uh to keep up with everything and it, it's it's a lot of work not just for admin but for the members itself so thank you to everybody that, that's done any kind of help out there and offered any assistance as well um all things eat brother I know you want to jump in. You're like one of the first ones to come in today. What's up? Hey, did you get anything uh, bourbon adjacent for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I did get one called Noble Oak, and I have never had that one before. That was the only bottle I got this year. Oh, cool. um, I did get. I haven't opened it yet because I'm still trying to go through the four containers of eggnog that I have. So I'm trying to <laughs> consume every single thing I have. I got a. I got a box of cook Christmas cookies uh christmas morning and i was literally and another bottle of eggnog that has the alcohol in it so i was yeah. like oh man i was just trying to finish this off and all of a sudden i get another bottle so i gotta go through that and then i'll hit the uh the noble oak and see how it tastes and then i got a glass with one of those long metal spoons so i can make the old-fashioned a little bit better uh right. so gonna gonna work on some of that stuff uh into the new year with some more uh, mixology things going on but that's about it, man. I did have a good Christmas, and uh, I did have a few things at Bourbon, but nothing as crazy as probably that's going to come up next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, man, thanks thanks so much for hosting, as usual. And Josie, shout out to you as well for for adminning and, and hosting here. And just want to uh, echo some of the stuff that Crypto Flyer said about uh, all you guys, I, as an admin at in a Discord channel on Arbitrum, like it can be a tough job. So I really appreciate what you guys do. You keep it positive, and there's a, there's a lot of people joining on a regular basis, and it's really good to see uh, new faces in the Discord and in the in the Telegram and on this space. And just I'm so excited for what uh, Elephant looks like in 2024. Yeah, this new year is going to be awesome. I I'm I look out my window here, and I know I have a really great view, and I try to send it to you guys whenever I can. But looking out out there today, and when I'm just staring out there, the the the, the feeling I get when I stare out this window is like the feeling I get when I'm in Elephant Money in the chat, watching things happen, watching the buy bot swing by, watching BT's posts or or some of the articles I see people write and the effort they take to out of the time out of their life to include elephant in their life and the few minutes that they have from everything probably going on from the real job they probably have to uh, whether it is write an article, put a video out or any kind of content that shows that just makes me just like one of the happiest guys in the world to see people from all over do everything they can to help out. It's not about just me, me, me. They actually put content together so other people can see it because it actually helps everybody, including their own wallet, whenever you do do stuff like that. So it's 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 really cool, man. And I'm, I can't say how hype I am for a new year. My New Year's resolution, I don't even know if I have one. It's just more just just 
being an elephant is is just something totally different than I've had over the years. So it's it's especially this past year because we have grown not just the ecosystem but the community has grown. Like the the 2023 community compared to the 2022 community is just grown so much that it is like uh, one of those things you can just it's it's like I don't know I just don't have words for it but I just know it is awesome. That's so good to hear, man. It's so good to see all the people get involved too and. Um, you know, I, I appreciate all those who reached out to me to get me into this ecosystem, and I just hope that I can do the same for for many more to come. I think uh, each one of us is going to benefit from, and already has. I, I know I already have. I met a lot of great people, but I've also profited, and um, I just look forward to, to 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 onboarding more and get more more people involved because you know, that just helps the ecosystem out in, in so many ways. And not only, not only financially, but you know, the each one teach one just brings more people into the fold and we all get some to interact with each other, help each other out with anything, you know, uh, technical or otherwise, and just good vibes and, and, uh, good friends. So I've already met some great people here. And uh, speaking of, um, I know the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the rugs to riches guys, put out a, a, their episode on Christmas evening. I, I got to be a part of that and uh, that interview. We recorded it about a week ahead of time, you know, with the holidays. We didn't want to do a live on Christmas Day, but gosh, that was fun. And, and just want to uh, thank all those guys for having me on. And, and if you didn't get a chance to watch that, I'll, I'll post the link to that in the in the chat here. Um, it was just a great conversation. and Those guys are so fun to talk with. So. Yeah, if you're ever to post it in here and then on Telegram again, because, uh, you know, that, that buy bot's been pretty much God, scrolling everything through so fast that yeah. it's a little bit hard to find some stuff. Even with the search icon thing on there, it, it takes a couple minutes. So uh, yeah, if you post it in both, that would help out Absolutely. Uh, a well, lot. Yeah, and, but, yeah, man, it's been a great day so far. The last couple of days have been great for Elephant and BNB in particular. We just seen a little bit of a pump here where that we've been waiting for it's exciting hey, and you know I, I if i log off for an hour or two you know back in the with this buy bot has kind of messed my brain up a little bit because usually if i log off and log on maybe even overnight and go to bed i wake up and there might be like a hundred messages that it says have accumulated and uh-huh. Uh, yesterday I got on and said 600 and I was like, Oh crap. Cause the only time you usually see that is when something goes wrong and everybody's in the chat real quick. Going, what happened? What happened? And, and it goes a mess. And I flipped out and I'm like, crap, what are the messages? I'm like, Oh, it's just the bot buying all day long. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Scared the heck out of me. I'm like, yeah. Oh, that was crazy. I had to see all those. I'm like, wow, that was, I don't even know how many T's we are at right now. Um, I don't know if, uh, you've seen it or what number we actually got to over the past 48 hours, but, uh, yeah. I didn't even look to see if they were the buy bot, buy an elephant or was buying NFTs. I just, when I saw it, I just, I actually said, forget it. I'm not going to go through the 600 and I just <laughs> went right to the current and I said, okay, I'll just leave those where they are. Cause I don't feel like scrolling through them. And I know it was not going to be anything that, you know, major that BT, otherwise he would have posted something. And I checked right. the messages anyway, so I knew we were good. And we just had a significant volume uh, on the token itself. I don't know if that was related to. I didn't see. I didn't scroll either in particular to see if it was NFTs buying or if it was just people buying elephant or or what. But yeah, a significant volume yesterday in particular, last night and yesterday. So I think that was had to do uh, probably with the B and B popping off too. I think a lot of L twos over the last 24 hours got a bid so that was good to see still there Alusia? we're hearing you all things Eve. okay well did we lose Ed, possibly? Possibly. All right, here's Bank Teller. Hey, happy holidays, everyone. How's it going? Happy holidays. Thanks so much for all the work you've done in the last uh, week or so, man. It's been incredible. 
I started this journey for migrating BUSD in September. <laughs> that is a long process. That's incredible. Yeah. So, uh, 16 updates uh, since starting that journey. Uh, but uh, uh, Well, congratulations, BT. Good job on getting it done. Um, that was a long haul for you. We appreciate all your work over the holidays and getting it all done. Appreciate We're you. Still not done. <laughs> you still see BUSD uh, under you know USD prices. The the price is coming from Chainlink, but the the UI still needs a lot of um, work just to clean up. You know to move all the retired stuff off to the side, and you know I'm trying to consolidate the. Uh, you know, trunk and trumpet together. So that old Trump trunk page is a disaster that needs to go. So little stuff like that, but keep pushing. And I got to pack all my stuff up and move. So before the end of the month, end of the month. So. So you're moving to Saudi Arabia. Is that where you said you were going? Somewhere over there? No, <laughs> nah, it's just like, um, Actually, probably more, uh, more into Providence proper. Um, so it'll be. I'll finally, by the time I move, I'll I'll actually have a proper office. So I've been coding for the past seven years um, at dining room tables and kitchenettes, and never had a proper office. So I'll have a. Uh, I have a MacBook, a new MacBook that I haven't even opened. Like I've I've had it for probably a month now, or whenever, um, and it's just been sitting there in a box unopened. And I've been coding everything on a crappy MacBook Air, um, <laughs> you know, because has all the tools that I need like already on it. So it's gonna there... be a nice upgrade, huh? Is there a difference from Mac to using the regular Windows when you're coding like that or no? Oh, I haven't been really on matter. Windows for a long time. I haven't been on Windows for a long time, but I have like a, a, a crap ton. I have a, a whole graveyard of laptops, um, you know, that I just used at home outside of my work laptops. Um, and this will be my third Mac product. Yeah. So that is awesome. I'm still on I have Mac now too. I had one back a Dell back in the day. That was my very first laptop, a Dell, um regular Dell back in like, I don't know, probably early two thousands, but that was about it. And now I've had this MacBook since twenty sixteen and um it's fine with me. Works great. Yeah. Um so what's been going on, man? I hope you had a good Christmas, B T. Uh you got plans for New Year's Eve? Mm, no concrete plans. I'm I'm, I'm moving. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I got to pack today. Movers will be here tomorrow. Uh, uh, gonna see my daughter perform one more time. Uh, so she's in she's in the uh, Christmas Carol at oh, Trinity Rep. Cool. So that's cool. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's really cool. So she's uh. She's on her way. She's working with professional actors and stuff. I'm like, I watched it the first time, uh, and I was like, wow, I feel like I'm watching Netflix. Like, what? I, <laughs> all these people are like on, have been on TV for like decades. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, man, to hear. That's awesome. Hope she has a good 2024. She's on yeah. vacation right now, right? Till next week, then they go back. Right, but she's still performing and stuff, so she's, you know, there's like, uh, you know, 30-plus performances since the holiday season started. Yep. So um, what do you think we got in store for next year, man? I know unless you just want to go over some of the stuff that happened over the year uh, or you want to mention something about what we can look forward to for next year. Well... You know, um, congrats to us for doing more than surviving, right? Best performing asset, beating out Bitcoin and Ethereum and 
most of the top 10, right? That we, we still did that. Nothing has changed there. Even with Bitcoin's rally, we still beat Bitcoin for the year. So, and now we're pumping. And, and now I think you get the sense of the urgency um, and the deliberateness of trying to get this migration done for BUSD because, you know, our platform works. It's always worked. It's worked for a long time. Um, it's just, we got to get all the kinks out. So, uh, but the, the, the core infrastructure, you know, works. It's like, it's like you saw like the original Optimus bot from Tesla. Uh, if you have that type of engineering mentality, which, you know, uh, you know, Elon and I come from the same place. So, um, once we have focus, you just keep iterating and keep working hard. Um, don't stop and move fast. And, you know, that, you know, probably Tesla bot, the Optimus is, uh, one of the most advanced, um, AI, autonomous AI systems on the planet. And don't forget that a Tesla itself is a robot, right? And it's the same brain inside. But anyway, uh, you know, that's just to say, like the code in the code in our system is a lot simpler. But the one thing that's special is that uh, it's a piece of financial software uh, that coordinates a hive mind. It, it coordinates the herd. It coordinates people to focus economic energy and push forward. And we figured that out. And that's a great accomplishment. And um, probably in the short term, you know, we have the opportunity to impact way more lives uh, than uh, the Optimus Tesla bot. <laughs> so, um this stuff we're doing is very real. It's here now. It's available. And uh, the thing that we need is just the same same thing we've always been talking about. Each one teach one, you know, and getting the word out uh, and, and helping uh, people that you directly know and, you know, you want them to do better. Um, get them involved and you know uh, just by sheer numbers alone in the herd we will achieve something that n not even bitcoin has achieved in its what 15 plus years so um bit uh bnb is helping us out a lot never doubted that i you know the thesis for bnb since the very beginning is that CZ and company uh, were some of the, the best operators uh, in this space, and that hasn't changed. Even with all the things that you know CZ's gone through, that hasn't changed. You know, and we know that um, people like Sam Bankman Freed, you know, literally paid off government officials politicians to focus on you know going after b and b and and binance and cz so um and we're still here right like that business is still here um it's lost some luster but it's still a business and we're still going to operate and because we operate on chain and now that we're off of BUSD, we're, we're fine, you know? So, and you can see that reflected in the price, um, of B and B. And, um, I think, uh, we have a significant opportunity. If you, you know, if you, you can hear my voice now, then you're still super early. Um, 
this will be the third time that we're about to enter the 40 cents per million. And for everyone who's been involved in this project, you know that's just 10 cents shy of parabolic territory, super parabolic territory, right? And so it's really important, like, if you were under, uh, trying to understand what the play is, if your elephant bag is weak, focus on that, focus on that elephant bag and focus on, you know, look at what, look at that, you know, those top holders, those, those people who are still trillionaires in elephant, understand that they've gone through, they're, they're go, they've gone to two major upswing cycles and they're, and they're about to go into a third and many of those, you know, especially in the second upswing cycle, th there was an opportunity to sell and they didn't. Um, what the herd has to realize is that everyone who sold, um, who sold out of the opportunity of a lifetime and only delayed the inevitable. Um, we are the next Pepe. We are uh, the next Bonk. Except it's not a meme coin. It's way more than that. But from a performance perspective, we're going to be able to draw that type of performance out of Elephant, that type of performance out of um, Trunk even. And we just haven't been, you know, we, we just don't do like a single pump and dump like these meme coins. This is going to be our third time. And yeah, there might be some leg down or retracement, uh, but it's just going to keep like swinging up, come a little down to establish a new floor and, and just keep doing that in perpetuity. That is the nature of this beast, you know? So the more that the herd holds though, through the parabola, the more attention we get and the more we grow. What also happens when we go into these parabolic swings, that's when we pick up new members. And for the third time, don't fucking dump on them. Don't dump on them. Hold the goddamn tokens. We hold the tokens, we win. That's it. It's simple as that. We hold the tokens, we win. Now, there are people who, you know, um, I'm just going to say it, people from a very negative community that copied my code from a while back, you know what it, it begins with a D, ends with a P. Like, those clowns plowing on our, our downfall, all this stuff, you know, they're out of tokens. So people selling tokens now you know they're in the second parabolic rise i say chestnut checkers people don't i think i, I understand understa they always doubting questioning the moves dumping out of spite they're out so everyone left is the ride or dies the, re the real ogs uh and all that you know people with strong hands people who aren't falling for phishing scams a lot of the dumping from the second parabolic rise is people people getting who people who fomoed in to that parabolic rise and then proceeded because they didn't do all their research on research like simply not clicking any buttons that aren't on elephant dot money and they not only hurt themselves but they hurt the protocol every person who you know, got robbed because they were clicking airdrop phishing scams, fake fake websites that look like Elephant Money but aren't at Elephant Dot Money. That was ten times worse than the two hundred k front running attack on the BUSC Treasury. Two hundred k front running attack on the BUSC Treasury that just lost some protocol funds. Didn't even change the price of Trunk or Elephant. But every time somebody gets scammed out of their bag, it hurts everybody. Price of elephant goes down. Price of trunk goes down.
So people have to be very careful and understand that the most important aspect of all of this is your own personal security. When you don't tend to your bags, you not only put yourself at risk, but you put the entire herd at risk. And that's what causes these cascades in cell pressure. It's a combination of people getting scammed and people um, and people panicking. So um, going into this third parabolic rise, understand that people are going to be coming after us. And it's going to be mainly in the form of social engineering and phishing scams. The system is very secure now. <laughs> More secure than it's ever been. Um, from a... We're obviously getting ready to finalize a lot of aspects of the protocol. Every time I have to deploy a new governance contract, uh, unless I change something architecturally, which I really don't want to, um, um, basically we have to permission uh, permission new governance contracts with access to one or more treasuries, um, including the elephant treasury. So. I would say we're um, we're future proof. We're close to renouncement ready, but you know, I just deployed like the fifth iteration of of sort of MEV proof NFT mentor just last night. Um, and right now we're also in the phase where uh, we have to monitor the performance of all this new contract code. Uh, it's it's all built on things that are very mature, uh, mature building blocks. Um, but it has to be, it still has to be, we still have to collect the data. And you know, I already I already see places where people are doing front running attacks on uh, trunk. Can't really do too much about that. On on uh, being on on elephant doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. I feel like we're 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 doing pretty good there. We have pretty good protection there at this point. So. We are being very specific about how many tokens we expect to get. We're using Chainlink and Twop Oracles to get that. We're doing um, optimistic updates of the Twop or Oracle. Um, still using historical data, uh, but trying to update that as we... Uh, Execute, execute new pricing um, or execute new pricing and then a trade. So we'll, we'll use, we'll like, you know, if we're a couple blocks ahead, three blocks ahead or more or whatever, we'll, we'll try to use the, like, the last published cumulative data um, as opposed to using stale data from like say the, the last time the top Oracle actually was involved in a right function at all. Uh, which means that, like, we could be using stale data, and that's how we get failures. And so, updating that op, uh, updating the the cumulative data before doing a trade allows us to get a tighter representation of what the current price might be. Uh, the current real price spot be, might be not a manipulated price price within the block, right? So, anyway, so and then um, using Chainlink to supplement supplement uh, pricing uh, of of BNB to USD is it has been a game changer, and 
allowed us to build this version of futures that just just works because for futures in particular for the in and out uh, all we need is the the, the accurate price of bnb so um i want to be able to get the accurate price of just um of just trunk and elephant versus bnb as well and for that, we're going to have to do a, a partnership with Chainlink, official partnership or or official, at least being a customer, you know, however they do that. I don't know if every paying customer is a, is a partner or not, but we're going to do that. And uh, so on the marketing side, we have the NFTs. And... Uh, now we have so we so in the process of migrating, um, we built up the trunk liquidity for the trunk WBNB. So we need to build up some liquidity so that we could do the buybacks there. The buybacks there, they're not as efficient. They're not buying against the BUSD pool. Uh, so they're build, building. They're buying against a a, a low liquidity pool. Um, with like a tenth of the liquidity. Um, so there's going to be slippage when those buybacks happen, but it's going to cause a volume to, to, to gravitate to that pool and um, since humans are basically drive, buying um, trunk directly, uh, there's going to be natural arbitrage that happens. And the more volume on the WBNB pool, the more value capture there'll be, you know, 0.25% um, in fee collection, which will, which will build vault, which will capture liquidity over time. And so the, uh, that BNB pool should rise. Um, it doesn't have to be super deep liquidity because we're trying to get it on exchanges anyway. So we have pretty deep liquidity in the BUSD pool. That should be good enough. So there's no actually new liquidity building happening anywhere. So, um, it's going to be very interesting for, uh, what happens to, um, both the elephant price and the trunk price long-term. Um, but even for elephant there's the potential for centralized exchange integration at some point um um but you know we have to go up a couple legs and establish our our dominance as a store of value and then go from there um but get, uh, getting back to the migration so built trunk liquidity and also minted 1800 uh, NFTs. Um, those NFTs are not probably not going to be staked, um, but they will be used to basically pay for um, marketing promotion, you know, by influencers. So, um, and also like, you know, the NFTs that, custody has owned have always been used to like pay out like i guess the the most the thing you most know is the entities that are given out like for this this space is right now right so that just continues um the medium article contest that uh patrick from Crypt cryptozoa runs uh i talked to him the other day so um there used to be like a $600, $400, $200 prize every month. Now that's just going to be three NFTs every month for for the top three articles. The, the top three performing articles, each person will just get an NFT. So that's a big win because NFTs are probably going to be worth more than $600. So everyone's like a first place winner. Um probably going to uh, probably going to work with crypto slow or sk 
but we're going to um, establish a a way for people to you know who are doing um like youtube videos specifically consistently um basically register their channel we'll list their channel and if they do you know four or more videos a month with x amount of views uh they get an nft at the end of the month we're going to do that as well so um right nfts are worth what 600 bucks right now wow <laughs> starting and they they started from being worth 200 bucks and now they're worth 600 bucks plus uh that's interesting i wonder how much they'll be worth in six months so um yeah, that's the that's 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 gonna be that's gonna be the reward if you get the word out. Uh, and that's basically how the NFTs will be used. Uh, then you know, I may or may not do some other things, but uh, and we'll we'll continue to like, you know, the days of sort of paying people one off whatever they ask for to just basically read from a screen or not really use the tools day to day and not be really be a, a part of the herd. Uh, those might be coming to an end. Um, we'll see, but I don't think it's ever been super effective. Uh, I've been, I know that, both Binance and Elephant are being suppressed by people who own media networks in crypto. Um, so uh, getting syndicated ads out, probably just going to have to advertise it directly with the source. Uh, we'll do that when we get a little bit more organic parabolic action because we went to the second parabola without having to do that. Um, and at the same time, we're also, you know, we're going to, we're going to conferences, we're going to events, uh, we're getting the brand out there. We're even doing charity work at this point. So I think all of those things are going to build up. And we will eventually, we will continue to bring on people who understand what we're trying to do and also have deep pockets. Um, so that's why each one teach one is very important. And in the new year, we will be ramping up, you know, speaking to um, investor groups, whale groups, that, that works. When 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 those when those people see what we've done and have that aha moment, and then understand that it can't be replicated, that it's a community, it's a living, breathing, organic system that's grown out of everything we've done, and also we have liquidity and adoption TVL to back it up. So, um, that's when they have that aha moment, and they and they actually use the platform as intended and i think the nfts are our best bet uh folks if you're not in the nfts you gotta get in the nfts um, futures is an awesome annuity product but it's still just an annuity product, the kind of product that's marketed to old people. <laughs> um, we need to market to the next generation. Uh, we need to, you know, real estate is unaccessible for the next generation. Uh, these NFTs are accessible. And 
the performance of the NFTs has been nothing short of phenomenal. And uh, with BNB back in play, it, it's going to get really interesting really fast. So um, this migration has given this, this round a shot in the arm. But, you know, there's so many times, um, frankly, when I build new infrastructure and then it, it's time for the herd to follow through. Um, and because of the nature of the changes, uh, we've taken away more than we've added. So this is a hardened platform. So now it's really time to follow through and promote our pillars of strength, the elephant token, futures, the NFTs, and then trunk and trumpet. Uh, but the focus, the easiest way to focus is just to promote elephants and the NFTs because those, and those NFTs are really the tip of the spear at this point. You know, you, you can tell an amazing story and there's no drama, right? It's the NFTs have just done their thing since, since the very beginning um, of their introduction. So uh, that's the only other thing that I would talk, uh, talk about, but, um, but yeah, um, we did it, you know, we survived the bear market. Uh, we're here, uh, at the cusp of this whole industry changing and we're still here. Uh, and we're also, from a Hester Pierce perspective of the SEC, we are very close to being more than adequately decentralized. And, you know, if there's any questions on that, you know, I can communicate clearly what the plan uh, was and is and what it will look like in the future. Um, um, and from a... And from a uh, stakeholder's perspective, um, the guidelines around that are clearly delineated. 